All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Nether Survival in 1.16. So glad. Wait, what? 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 Are you. What? What? I was there. It was in my house. What's going What's the. Why, 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 why are you mad? What did I do? I've just been standing in my house. I didn't do any. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. What is this? What did. The piglins were. I don't know. They were shooting hoglins. Maybe one of them hit you. Wasn't me. What? He's going on. I have been falsely accused. I swear to God, I haven't done, I haven't done anything. Hey, uh, this episode brought to you by the like button, which is pretty cool, can be found underneath the video. I don't know what's happening. Why don't they? What's ha what's going on? Now I have a hoglin on me as well. This is ridiculous. I can't go into my house, otherwise I'm going to be so freaking wrecked. Oh God, I have to deal with these mans. <sighs> What am I gonna do? Dude, what am I gonna do? Oh god, I'm gonna get some, one of them's gonna flank me too, for sure. Oh frick, they hurt bad! They're three and a half hearts of beast. Why is there a zombie in here? Why is there a zombie in the nether? What is happening right now? I actually don't know what is taking place. Oh god, it's, this one's mad at me. Bruh, I'm in trouble! I'm gonna accidentally swing at a, a piglin too, for sure, and it's gonna be bad. What are you guys doing? I didn't do it! Oh my god. How dare the piglins frame me like that? I have never been so wrongly accused in my life. Oh, you guys, you not even come to me. Come over here, dude. I'm about to set you straight. All right, you come here. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, you're afraid of the warp fungus, eh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god. So today, after being extremely distracted by that opening, we're going on a stronghold quest, all right? That's the plan. But we're gonna do things slightly differently. Obviously, look, I have to go into the overworld in order to find a stronghold. There's not really two ways about that. Okay, are you seriously not gonna, okay, whoo! I got sharpness on my sword and this dude won't unlive. Unbelievable, I've been smelting some of the uh, raw pork chop from the last episode here. We might as well throw that new stuff in. And um, so we're, we have the Eye of Enders. I'm gonna build a portal right here. We're gonna go to the uh, overworld, toss off the Eye of Enders, hopefully find it uh, without too much difficulty. I'm not going to take advantage and go out of my way to like go strip mining while I'm in the overworld and collect resources that way. If I stumble across something while I'm out and about, then cool, I'll take advantage. Like if I find sheep easily, I'll do that in order to make a bed, save a respawn point when I'm in the, the portal room, something like that. But only things I come across. I will try to explore the, the fortress or the stronghold, I should say, and try to get things in the chest. I've been meaning to make a bow as well. But like I said, I'm just not gonna go and strip mine and, and try to find things that way. It's only things I come across. But once I reach the portal room, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the nether portal in there. I'm gonna work my way back through the nether to here in the hopes that on the way back, on the return trip, I'll be able to maybe find a bastion or another, uh, another fortress or something so I can get more loot that way before I actually go into the end. So that said, with all the rules in order, why don't we go ahead and make ourselves a, uh, a portal not too close to our actual house, otherwise it'll be obnoxious and loud, but we'll do it, I don't know, right over here, maybe. I am still just absolutely staggered by the level of disrespect that took place there with the Ziglins. It's unbelievable, dude. You know what I should also take on my journey? Probably a little bit of iron, just in case things go south. I'll have that at our disposal, maybe the iron nuggets. And then, the question is, do we want to bring more gold? I guess I could bring just a little bit more so we have a, a full stack, something like that, and can make it rain and bring a little more. Why not, dude? Bring a little more. Make it rain on some of the, the piglins. You never know. All right, we're gonna need the flint and steel, too. Yes, okay. Very good. Let's go for a journey. I guess I don't really need to have the fungus on a stick, but I'll take it anyway. All right, well, let's hope things go well for us. What you got, dude? Still looking for that netherite hill? That's not what I was looking for. Not even close. What if it takes us just like right back over near spawn? Has anyone ever spawned directly above a stronghold in Minecraft? Does that happen? I wonder. All right, well, here we are. 
I realize it might have been wise to, I don't know, bring some extra eye vendors, but that said, I don't think I've ever gone through 16 trying to find one. Uh, so let's track our chords here with a little screenshot. We're at 260, negative 3487. Okay, long ways from spawn. And let's fire it off and see where it goes. That's it. If I do, like, if I find a village along the way, I'm going to... I'm gonna try to take advantage of that. I'm not just gonna, you know, not do it, right? Hopefully we'll find some useful things on the way. God, if I could find some iron armor inside a village chest or something, that would be, it'd be some big plays. Likewise, if I run out of wood or something, I'll mine a tree. If I run into coal on the way mining into the stronghold, I'll get it so I can get torches, that sort of thing. But I'm not just going to like dig down right now and be like, let's just take a moment to go and, and strip mine and find our way. Someone actually recommended earlier on, in an earlier episode, I saw a comment saying, in order to find the stronghold, what you should do is you go into the overworld, you throw the Eye of Ender, then you go back into the nether, head in that direction in the nether a little bit, then make another portal at some point along the way. You kind of estimate it, and then you throw another one, and you fine-tune it that way. And I was like, you know what? That sounds good in theory, but it's going to be really, really rough to actually execute on. I should have brought the Mending Sword, shouldn't I? Well, let's hope things don't go too south for us here. Uh, otherwise, I'm doing this so that I can actually make a bed if I want to do that. And we'll do this so I can make a boat, assuming we have to go across an ocean somewhere along the way, pretty likely. Well, if it's anything like all the recent series, we'll have the uh, stronghold exposed in the ocean, so... Alright. I know that that had much of a direction change, though, so... We'll just head for a bit in this direction and see where it takes us. See if there's any change in trajectory. Not really. Alright, well... I'm gonna jinx myself, but at least we haven't lost an Eye of Ender yet. Alright, let's see. Yep. Still going. Nice, dude. Thank you for the drop. Much appreciated. We should make a bed as it's about nighttime. And honestly, don't really feel like having my armor super quickly depleted because it's still so bad. I could make a chest plate if I wanted to, plus an iron sword of spare because I forgot to bring my mending sword, which was real dumb of me to do. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's. Oh my god, my pickaxe is running out, my sword's running out, my axe is running out. It's all gonna suck. I hope that I can make it into the stronghold without a huge degree of issues. I like flower planes though, dude. I feel like I never run into flower planes biomes, or at least it's pretty rare for me to do so. Oh god, wait, I just, oh, I've overwritten my respawn anchor now. So, uh, well, if things go south, it's gonna be a fun time to get back to my house. Still heading straight? Yes, we are. Oh, God. I hope this doesn't end up being just the longest stronghold trek of all time. I didn't track what direction my nether entry portal was from where my house is in the nether, but just imagine if, uh, if it was in the same direction I'm heading now and I could have just skipped, like, an easy thousand or so blocks by going through my original portal instead of doing what I'm doing now. I need that Eye of Ender. Did it go on top of the freaking tree? Where the heck did it Ow! Where did it go? Got it. We're good. Still, though, not even like a small change in the trajectory of this thing, so it's probably still a long ways out. Any change? Nope. Still going this way. Oh, boy. Oh, there goes one of them. Okay, it's fine. We still have three more to spare, and... It's likely a couple will be filled in on the portal. Honestly, I, I think the most tedious... Ooh, we're getting close, boys! That was a heck of a direction change right there. I was going to say, I think the most tedious part of if I were to do that groundhog style, like travel in the nether, make a portal, pop up, throw the thing again. Kind of actually, I've done that for a mansion before just because of how far away the mansions are. Would have been breaking the portal every single time that we come back into the nether with my non-efficiency diamond pickaxe, but it's taken like two minutes to do every single time. Okay, but we must be close here, so I'm gonna throw another one and see where it lands. Actually, kind of not within range of the trees. Where are we at? 
Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, we are right on top of the thing. Okay, hold on. One more from on top of the hill. This one might actually end up underground, but let's see. Uh, never mind. Okay, I overshot it. Don't break, don't break. It must be, like, right down here, then. Like, can we see it inside the water? I've had good luck previously, and... I don't even know where that went, so I'm gonna assume I'm standing on top of the thing. Okay! Hey, not bad! And we've still got two more to spare in case I get in there and things are hectic and I don't know what I'm doing. So... I'm gonna make a wooden shovel. Or a stone shovel. In order to do this. It's gonna be sick, dude. Also, we're gonna be real high-tech about this and we're gonna make... a stone pickaxe as well because I, I don't really want to waste my diamond pickaxe. Just... Mining down to try to find a stronghold. Here we go, folks! Let's hope that we're in the right place. Uh, I don't have torches. I mean, I actually, I had, what was it, three torches back at home. It feels weird to say back at home when home is the nether. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I just didn't want them clogging up an inventory spot. And also, it's like, ah, how far are three torches really going to take me? Not... Not very far at all. Hey, Cole! Oh my god, you're a lifesaver. Hey man, I ran right into it. I was not out searching, it's just the universe heard my calls for Cole. More like it heard the tears dropping from your eyes because you couldn't see a dang thing. So this is for you, okay? This Cole, this is so that you can see. I can see just fine. It's not like nice, but I can see. I'm doing this to help you, okay? Now I can actually see what's up. Let's continue down. I think I just heard a silverfish. I think. Oh, <gasps> There we- Oh my god! I thought for a second I landed on the portal room, but no, I just got really unlucky and broke a- Broke a block. Okay, I need you to not unalive me. I'm really not- I'm not well- Why is your hitbox just borked? There we go. Easy, boys! Easy! God, that was the quickest stronghold find ever, I feel like. Other than when you actually have it in the ocean. Uh, that doesn't count. Okay, let's find ourselves that portal room, and I'll, actually, even more importantly than finding the portal room right now, let's see if we can find ourselves some chests with gear in them, preferably. That would be very helpful to us. Hey, uh, any chests down here, you know? Oh, that's a library. It's never mind. That's an abandoned mine shaft. Uh, library would be great, though. We need one more diamond, but if we find a diamond, say, in, like, a, uh, fortress in the nether, then we can make an enchantment table, and we'll be able to actually do some stuff because we'll be able to find bookshelves. Oh, yeah, you know, the classic stronghold in a ravine. That seems to happen quite a bit. I'm really striking out here on, like, finding just about any- There we go! Okay. I know you're watching once this has already happened, but I promise you, if you put out the feels, retroactively, you can make this chest have good stuff in it. Actually, not bad. An iron chest plate is so far beyond what we've had. Prot 2, actually, on gold. Does that do better? Either way, the durability sucks on it, so we're going to light that one up so we know we've already looted it. See if we can find it. Hey, bud, how you doing? Huh. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Alright, we good. Uh, that is many creepy boy. Yes. You know what I might want to do while I'm here? Not that I'd go out of the way for it, but just find myself some freaking uh, feathers so that I can actually make more arrows. That'll make my life ten times easier. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. I would like to have chest full of stuff in it, if you don't mind. And also, I removed the lighting glitch. Uh, I have a lot of gold. And my food situation's not hurting terribly, so that's kind of anticlimactic, if I do be honest. Oh my god, really? It carries across the ravine. You, do you have to? Pardon me, but I just happened, I wasn't mining for the iron, but I found it in my face. Am I really gonna neglect to get it? I think not. Is my inventory completely full? It is. Brilliant. I do not need the stone pickaxe, but I could use the iron. 
be wonderful on my quest. God dang it, dude. I feel like the portal room can't be that far over from where I already was because the Eye of Ender like, went straight down. So I'm not going to head too far over there. You know, that might be where the libraries are. I will be back here again. It's going to be multiple trips. So I don't have to find everything now. I just want to find the portal room. That would be ideal. I believe we found, uh, ooh, two more chi- Oh my goodness. Oh, I like what I see there. I could even make myself some diamond boots or an enchantment table. Perhaps uh, a little bit more importantly. Ooh, double iron pickaxes, boys? Oh my goodness. Hey, I want to thank you guys because you really, you really put out the feels there. And I could not have done it without you. Okay, so let me just work my way through there, if you don't mind. Let's snag the other one. Uh, light you up. So I can't light up anything. All right, there we go. And check out what we got here. This is a very hazardous flooring situation. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd like that. Okay, why, why is this place so freaking broken? And there's so much lava. I don't like it, dude. Why is this like some kind of unlively parkour map here? All right. I'm just gonna grab it. It was literally exposed right in front of my face. It would be a travesty. It just, it was begging to be mined, really. Okay, I mean, how many ravines is this fortress comprised of? There is a ravine in every single direction. There must be like three of them that this stronghold is going through. I realize I keep interchanging fortress and stronghold. Just don't worry about it. You know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I was literally right here. And I just for some reason didn't bother to turn around and look at this door. Okay, there we have it. Alright. We made it. We're good. Let's get rid of that. And, uh, ooh, look at that. Three already done. Okay. So, I would like to find the libraries see what they have, and we do have the diamonds to be able to enchant and do all that stuff, but it doesn't matter if we do that now or we do that the next run through. What I do want to do is see how big of a pain it's going to be, oh god, in order to actually make the trip from here over back to home in the nether. We'll see how we'll see how it goes. Okay, I actually I realize I, I don't think I tracked my coordinates of, of home in the nether, but we'll figure it out one way or the other. Um Okay, let's go through. See where we land. I don't I feel like we didn't travel that far necessarily. Wait a minute. Wait wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bruh. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding right now. This, this is, this is the fortress at our, I recognize this. This is literally right smack in between our house over there and our entry portal over there. That could not have worked out any better. I know, ex what are the, never tell me the odds that I know exactly where we landed right here. Bruh, uh... Okay, uh, let me see. I actually have a solution here, and it's really sad because it's gonna involve me unaliving a, a shivery boy. Come here. Hey, come here, bud. I need you. Here's what I need. I need you to come to me, okay? I have I have treats for you. I have nice treats. Hello? What are you doing? Because he's got, he's got a saddle on top. I can just straight up ride this dude back over, and I'm so sorry that I have to do this to you. I'm so sorry. I really... Why is this the second time I have to do this in the series? I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so... Oh, god dang it. I need to hit you in the opposite direction. I'm really sorry about this. I don't want to splash damage, though, and I'm kind of worried that if I hit from the top... Hey, man. Super sorry about this situation. It's really regrettable. Okay. I'm just looking at Oh, god, I'm terrible. Okay, well... On the plus side, right? <laughs> I can ride you now, and this is, see, this is why I brought my fungus on the stage. Watch this. I know exactly where we are, and this is legit. Oh, God, I, ac I accidentally damaged my boy here. Okay, and so it's not, it's not a flying boy. 
It's not a shivery boy anymore, but we are... Wait, look for it, look for it. I just tried to zoom in because I forgot I don't have optical. That's the ruined portal. What? What? It's so easy. This is... This is staggering. This is incredible. I... I don't even, like, do I need to set... I don't even need to set my respawn over there, I feel like. All right, man. I, I need you to stay here. It's actually going to be, like, a lot better if you chill here. I know it's shivery and stuff, and I apologize for that. But I just, like, don't want you going anywhere. And our uh, flying boy is going to present a uniquely terrible situation of me trying to dismount over there when our portal is uh, at the lava level. But, I don't know, maybe there would be a good place to do it. Oh my god, dude. I never would have thought we would end up right back at our house that quickly and that easily. And then we can just run right back over, see if we can find the libraries. This has worked out so well. The Nether is truly legendary for travel. Hey, bud, there you go. See, we, yeah, actually, I don't have any inventory space, but it's fine, dude. Give me, give me that Nether right, ho. Give me that, I know you want to. I have had nothing but strings of good luck today, and you've gone and just sullied that with your stupid soul sand I don't need any more of. Okay, it's inventory organization time. I bet you're excited to watch through this. Decided to splurge a little bit, put some of that iron to use, add some iron shorts to the collection. I'm deciding whether or not I want to go with an iron helmet or iron boots. I can make both, obviously, once I get uh, this stuff smelted. In fact, I should probably do that right now and just grab some lava and throw it in there. But obviously, I have to wear one of the iron or the one of the gold bits here in the nether otherwise i'm gonna be in for a world of hurt with the piglins not really liking me hey wait you didn't even like you didn't even want that are you rejecting my gold he's becoming like gold elitist or something oh it's not 24 carat that's all the uh, 18 carat so we're not gonna accept that we only accept the uh, finest quality of gold material i'm like all right you guys need to chill seriously all right, let's grab that. We'll be able to smelt the rest of the iron, and uh, then we'll have stuff to spare. Woo! So good. We are in such a better position right now. Thank you, Stronghold. I appreciate it. And with any luck, maybe, just maybe, when we find another nether fortress somewhere, we'll be able to get more diamonds in it. Or maybe more diamonds inside of some other chests inside of the stronghold if we're able to find those i've got the diamonds i've got more obsidian we'll get a book by breaking a bookshelf inside the library once we find that at the stronghold so not particularly worried i think that shouldn't be too difficult hopefully we'll find both libraries no issue i think we can just run on back over there should have filled in the portal i don't know why i didn't fill in the portal now i'm risking like carrying around the eye of enders and potentially unaliving with them on me which was kind of a strange decision on my part, but I was like, I want to, I want to find my way back. Okay, let's just, we'll make boots. We'll do, no, actually we'll do a helmet, because I have soul speed on my boots, and that's kind of nice to have, so. Okie dokie, boys. Here we go. Quick trip back. Or, I mean, really long trek, dude. I don't know how I'm going to handle this super long trek to get back to the stronghold. It's going to take absolutely ages. Ugh. Oh. God, I can't believe I got so unlucky with the location of the stronghold. Man, just, I really could have used a little bit more luck on my side with this, couldn't I? Seriously, though, like, how did, how did I get so lucky that it was literally on the strider path that I have already traveled several times right smack dab in the middle? You can draw, like, a line through all three places. I mean, it's, it's crazy. This series, I mean, the world was built for it. Oh my goodness. All right, you stay there, dude. Don't go anywhere. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you to... You can't be trusted, can you? You're just gonna wander away. You're gonna wander away. Right, it's only floaty boys. Only floaty boys can be trusted, which is real annoying. Uh, how do I deal with this? Hold on, I can do something. I can do something about this. I'm gonna trap you in there. This is why it's actually really convenient that I have... A floaty boy because they they actually yo, no 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 I'm so sorry I didn't mean to hit you oh god how much health did I just reduce on you I'm really no dude I'm super sorry about that I'm super I know you don't believe me that I'm oh you're still at half health so we're we're chilling it's it's fine don't worry we're good okay don't follow me let's go through 
and we'll find those libraries. Yeah, that's the really convenient thing about the floating ones. They don't wander away. Didn't really think about that. Okay, well, I have it on alive, so let's, uh, you know, put that to use and just spawn in the portal and not accidentally fall in, because that would be embarrassing. Noise. All right, we're set. Let's try to find ourselves some libraries. Looks like we got one. Noise. Okay, so where would I want to set up an enchantment table? Hmm. Where would we be able to like maximize things and maybe even, is it possible to like get to a level 30 enchantment by simply placing down a uh, an enchantment table without building any additional bookshelves. I'm wondering if there's a location inside of a stronghold library that you can place an enchantment table and it will actually yield level 30. So let me break this real quick. Uh, nothing, nothing of great use. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, what do we have in the top one? Maybe some enchantments while we're at it. Yeah, something good. Something that will keep me nice and safe. Rather than literally nothing of value. Uh, loyalty 3, sharp, sharp 3 would actually be nice. I could apply that to my Mending Sword if... If I can get an anvil. But that's gonna require just, you know, happening to... Well, I just happened to wander into more iron. It was on the surface. I couldn't avoid it. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'll put the enchantment table down right there. And we'll see what level we get to. We're not even likely going to be able to do level 30 enchantments in any sort of timely fashion just because I don't have that many levels to begin with. So let's do this and make ourselves an enchantment table. See what level we're at off the bat. All right, what's this looking like? Well, I mean, obviously, assuming that we get some lappies. Um, 20, actually, is not bad. We have there efficiency 3. I need to have a sword that... <laughs> Doesn't have any enchantments on it for us to really make progress with this, but that's fine. Let's try to find the uh, the other library if we can. That was quick. It was actually just like right down the same path that I was taking there. Okay, cool. How about some luck? I can always go and um, you can I I can use crimson planks right in order to make bookshelves. I haven't actually tried that before. Oh. Yeah, wait, oh, I can totally get to level 30, even using stuff that's just uh, in the nether. So we're all good there. Okay, what do we have here? Please, something good. No, nothing, really, nothing at all. How are you gonna do me like that, man? It's ridiculous. How is that two chests in two consecutive libraries that just, oh, okay, that, that's nice. That's, oh, 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 what do we have? Frostwalker 2, Prot 3, Looting 2, Smite 4. This is, uh, yeah, that's going to be the Wither book right there. That's going to be the well, Wither Skeletons and Wither book. Not bad. And a little bit of prop four that we can put on something. Okay, well, let's see if we can get lucky and possibly find ourselves some more chests around here. Because if we can get, dude, we get a diamond chest plate with prop four on it, that would be, that would be big plays. Also, really going to need an anvil now. That would be pretty great. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Okay, some more iron, another iron pickaxe. Nothing super great, could really use those diamonds, you know, if you wanted to be super helpful. But, that's fine. That chest really exceeded all expectations, so I can't really hope for too much more. It really did save us, though. Because, like I said, I'm not gonna go strip mining. I guess if I can't find any exposed lappies, then uh, it is what it is, but I'm really hoping that doesn't end up being the case. Didn't find another stronghold chest. But I'll take the Aqua Affinity. Yeah, dude! Gotta love that Aqua Affinity, boys. Oh, more torches, too. Nice! Okay, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna complain. We've done pretty well so far. And I guess I'll keep looking around, though. See if maybe we get lucky. I just keep running into ravines and the abandoned mine shaft. So, I'm surprised I haven't run into more chests that I can see in the abandoned mine shaft, though. Uh, that looks like an unalived end right there. Speaking of which, hello. Oh yeah, golden apple, that would actually be kind of nice. Some more coal as well. And, I mean, I still see more stronghold blocks. Any, uh, oh yeah, there's, there's some iron right there, dude. Hey man, 
If I'm still seeing stronghold blocks, I can just snag some iron. Okay? It's fair game. It's free real estate. Look, no, it is free real estate. Stop trying to interrupt me. Okay. Got this. Full inventory. Don't worry about it. We can fix that. I don't need zombie meat and cobblestone clogging things up here. Okay, so how many do I have? Uh, I had 12 smelting. So then there was another one right over here that I think I saw. Yup. Give me that. I'm just really hoping that I can see some lapis poking out somewhere. Otherwise, our whole enchantment quest is not going to be super fruitful. Oh man, that's just crazy. Look at that. More iron? Oh my goodness. You're too good to me. I mean, look, we're still in the stronghold, dude. We might run into a stronghold chest at any given time. Whoa! All right, I wish you wouldn't. Ooh, good thing we got. Oh, yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I got a name. Oh, oh, Lappies, while we're at it. Yeah, d oh, oh, really? Don't mind if I do. You're too kind. Please, nobody sneak up on me right now. I don't, I don't need to have that happen to me. Uh, let's see, we can get that, okay, a name tag, I mean, we, dude, I gotta get a name tag so I can name tag my Shivery Strider Boy, this is absolutely crucial, and I need to clear out my inventory real badly right now. Oh, I mean, oh, it just so happens there's a little bit more iron over here, huh, you know, what are the odds of that, that's just crazy stuff right there, um, maybe if we go back over, it. no, it doesn't look like there's much in the way of Stronghold stuff over there, but... Hey, you never know when you might have another uh, stronghold chest pop out on you. Oh, what what would you look at that? A little bit more iron? Are you telling me that we might end up getting real close to 31 iron? Are you telling me that might happen right now? Oh my goodness. If we just get to a mere 19... Oh, oh, would you look at that? That's just, it's crazy, crazy how much of a coincidence it is that we managed to... Uh, find that much down here, just, you know, lurking around the stronghold. Crazy. Let's put down the ender chest in here, I think. Uh, just so that we can kind of clear out our inventory and then we'll be able to easily bring things back and forth. And we're going to be able to, I actually, you know what, I should just bring the enchantment table back home. We can do enchantments back at our house, get everything sorted, and then we'll be kind of good to go. I'll just break a bunch of bookshelves. We have the wood in the nether. So full enchantment setup is not going to be that difficult to do at all. And uh, we'll be able to make boots if we want to. Diamond boots. We, we, dude, we got a whole world of possibility. It's amazing. We're in really good shape. Uh, I think this is probably a good place to leave off for this episode, though. Things have gone super well. And... I mean, depending upon what we're able to get with our bow, there's kind, there's a chance that we might actually be able to get, like, infinity or something. But, I mean, we do have uh, 36 arrows, which is not too bad. Maybe, that might actually just be enough in order to take out all the end crystals regardless. But, yeah. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Once again, that is who is sponsoring this episode here. Subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for episodes in the future. And, I mean, next time we might be going after the Ender Dragon. And then, oh my god, dude, we have that sick enchantment book that we're going to be able to use in order to uh, go and try to get a hold of some Wither Skulls and unalive the Wither. We will do, we'll fight the Wither in the Nether. Because that's something you can do. We might as well stick to it. We could even try to use it to, like, mine out netherite, even. I know that I tried that in the past, using the wither to mine netherite strategy. Didn't work super well, admittedly, but we'll see. Let me try it again. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah!